Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 3, Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we did the first tier of unlockable characters, and in this episode, we have five more to show you guys. These will be the Magic Knight, the Cheerleader, the Shaman, and the two ninjas, Ninja and Kunoichi. Alright, alright, let's do the thing. Julie, do the thing! <laughs> Okay, first up, we have the Magic Knight. She's a sword user who also likes magic. <laughs> she learns four sword skills and uh, tri-elemental spells up to Omega. Her aptitudes uh, favor attack, favor physical and magical attacks equally. And uh, as you can see, she's got a couple of different uh, elemental unique skills. But uh, we'll get into those later. First of all, let's talk about her abilities. Spirit Benediction, her default ability, increases elemental damage by 20%. Pretty handy, I guess, if you like elements. <laughs> her secondary abilities are Elemental Force, which reflects elemental value onto an elemental attack. Positive uh, affinities only. So, like, for example, if you use a uh, fire element physical attack and you had, like, plus 50% fire, you would do 50% more damage. It's pretty great. As you can see, she has 25 in everything, though, so whatever. <laughs> Her next ability is Echo, which uh, has a 25% chance to use the same special skill twice in a row. So, uh, kind of like a plus attack geo panel. Uh only not reliable. <laughs> Finally, she has Sword Force. 30% of base attack is added to Int when she has a sword equipped. Since she is a sword user, learning six or learning four sword skills and not much else, why wouldn't you have a sword equipped? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <coughs> I mean, I guess you could have a staff equipped, but here you get two for the price of one, Grandma. And I ain't that just peachy. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Let's let the rest of these play out while I give my throat a chance to recover. Because as you might be able to tell from the sound of my voice, I am getting over a cold. It, is, it was quite a nasty cold. So, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, to unlock a Magic Knight, you need, uh... Hang on a second here. Burp -a -derp -derp. Okay, to unlock a Magic Knight, you need either a uh, level 25... You need a level 25 fighter or lady fighter, and a level 25 skull or mage. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay! <laughs> So yeah, Anti-Wind here uh, lowers uh, its target's elemental resistances, and uh, I'm assuming the other, I'm assuming the charge skills raise elemental resistances, but uh, I wasn't paying attention, so I guess we will never know. Ha 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 ha! Voices, not do. Lahara laugh. It. It's a thing. We Next up, we have the cheerleader and the shaman. Polar opposites of one another, and their uh, uh, aptitudes are also pretty different, too. Cheerleaders specialize in buffs, and shamans re specialize in debuffs. The cheerleader can learn four gun skills and the six stat buff spells. The shaman learns four spear skills and the six stat debuff spells and also five status effects. Their uh, aptitudes differ in that the uh, cheerleader prefers uh, guns while the uh, shaman prefers physical weapons. 
In any case, look at all of these uh, buffs. Look at all of these unique skills. These guys are crazy town in their uh, in their <coughs> in their utility. As for their abilities, Lovely Song on the cheerleader increases stats of allies on the map by five percent. This stacks, so uh, yeah, invite the space girls all you want. <laughs> the shaman's uh, cursed dance. Guys are like, not adjacent at all in the character. Cursed Dance decreases the stats of enemies on the map by 5%. The Cheerleader's Charmy Song increases the chain attack rate of allies on the map by 10%. The Shaman's Hazard Dance Increases the ailment chance of enemies on the map by 20%. The cheerleader's luck song or lucky song increases the critical damage of allies on the map by 20%. The shaman's ominous dance decreases the evasion of enemies on the map by 20%. Wow. The cheerleader's happy song increases the EXP gain of allies on the map by 20%. It might be handy. Maybe. Statisticians are still a thing. I don't know how they stack with that. The world will never know. Also, wow, uh, Shaman used bad breath. It was super effective. <laughs> Gotta love them Final Fantasy. Finally, the Shaman's Ruin Dance decreases the elemental stats of enemies on the map by 25%. So, uh... Kinda like the Magic Knight, but better. <laughs> <coughs> I could see a strategy with that, maybe. In any case, yeah. The uh, Cheerleader's buff... or er, uh, unique skills. All, uh give buffs to different kinds of uh, stats, and not the normal kinds of stats either. These are SUPER BUFFS! They're utilitarian stats! Very handy indeed. I don't know where I was going with this. And look at this. Throw range up, magic range up, move up? It's wonderful! It's also getting a lot of gunk in my throat. Oh yeah, this skill. This gives your ally this gives an ally the cheerleader's turn. Very nice. I definitely approve of this skill. Even though I never actually used it, but uh never mind that. It's awesome. I should have used it more. Finally we have the ninja and the Kunoichi, who um as you can see here, their aptitudes are not all that different. The uh Ninja favors uh, defense, and the Kunoichi favors resistance. They both use fists, swords, and stabs, learning uh, for each of the fist and sword skills. The ninja, Wait a second. The ninja learns poison and stun, while the Kunoichi learns slumber and charm. Okay, so two uh, stats effects each. Pretty great. 
The ninja's Misty Haze gives him a 50% chance to evade attacks from the front. The Kunoichi's Flame Haze gives her a 50% chance to evade ranged and area special skills. Not weapon attacks, okay? So don't expect her to go dodging bows and guns, because it's not gonna happen. The Ninja's Sharp Eye increases critical chance by 20%. The Kunoichi's Purgatory increases crit damage by 50%. The Ninja's Vision Blur nullifies damage on a Nick. Nick is sort of the opposite of a critical hit, where you uh, just barely hit your enemy. And the Ninja takes no damage from that. The Kunoichi has Assassination. Attacks from behind are always critical hits. Pretty great. The ninja has Killing Hand, 30% of base speed added to hit when Fist Weapon is equipped, so it makes Fist Attacks more accurate. The Kunoichi has Blade Dance, 30% of atta base attack added to speed when Sword is equipped. She gets dodgier when she has a sword. Pretty great all around, but what about their unique skills? Let's go to the scene and check it out! <coughs> Blah, I say. Blah! Ninja Art Switch. Trade places with Target. <laughs> that printy has no idea what happened. And I can see that being useful try for trying to uh, get past an enemy or something, like a heavy knight, I don't know. The Kunoichi has Ninja Art Wind Wrap, which uh, I... Didn't see what that did. Showtime. So, uh... Um... Oh, I guess it increases her evasion. Okay! I'll take it! <laughs> Ninja Art Kuchiyose! Um... Does what exactly? It summons a Prinny! <laughs> okay. It's a helper Prinny. Prininja. Uh, not much to say here. It's just a Prinny. <laughs> Three year crush kill. Uh, does damage in a plus pattern and inflicts deprave on male enemies. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's you know, this scene. Except, she catches you bathing and throws kunai at you! <laughs> so yeah, Kunoichi. That's really all I have to say about that. <laughs> Next time on Disguise 3, Absence of Detention, we are going to be uh, looking into the last... Uh, how many is it? The last six humanoid classes. Then we'll get into the monsters, which should hopefully be a lot simpler. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye bye By the way, like, comment, subscribe if you think I'm a pretty cool guy. Thanks!